UAW, you saved the automobile industry back in 2008 and before. Made a lot of sacrifices, gave up a lot, and the companies were in trouble. But now they're doing incredibly well. And guess what? You should be doing incredibly well, too. Stick with it, because you deserve the significant raise you need and other benefits. Let's get it! Let's get back who we lost.
Walker Ruger. Thank this local leadership and director Laura Dickerson. during World War II. It's where they built the B-24 Liberator bomber. You know, that, that bomber, they built one of those per hour when they were at their peak. It's what helped us win the war. So today, 80 years later, we find ourselves here again with the Arsenal of Democracy. It's a different kind of Arsenal of Democracy, and it's a different kind of war we're fighting. Today, the enemy isn't some foreign country miles away. It's right here in our own, in our own area. It's corporate greed. Yeah. Yeah. And the weapon we produce to fight that enemy, it's the liberators, the true liberators. It's the working class people, all of you working, working your butts off on those lines to deliver great product for our company. That's how we're going to defeat these people. That's how we're going to defeat corporate greed, is by standing together. Yeah. You know, this is a historic moment, the first time in our country's history that a sitting USA president All right. has came out and stood on the picket line. Yeah. in our fight for economic and social justice. Thank you. Yeah. 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 It's a historic day and a historic moment in time. You know, just as today, you know, it's about the auto workers who are part of the fabric of the working class of this country. We're the people that make the world run. It's not the billionaire class, not the elite few, it's the working class of the billions of people who have been left behind. That's what this battle's about, changing that. You know, what's going to move this, it's not some executive that owns our future. It's us. It's working class people from all walks of life. You know, it's what we decide to do together that's going to change it. It's going to shape the future of this earth and for future generations. And that's the economic reality that corporate executives don't want us to recognize. Yeah. I see these CEOs trying to justify a system where they take all the profit and the workers are left to fight for the scraps and live paycheck to paycheck. That's got to end. Yeah. They say they deserve all the profit because they say they're different. You know what? They are different. They have different degrees. They have different responsibilities. They have different titles, different positions. You know what? I agree, though. They're different. We, let's talk about some of that. These CEOs sit in their offices. They sit in meetings, and they make decisions. But we make the product. <laughs> they think they own the world, but we make it run. belongs to them. Today belongs to the auto workers and the working class. Yeah. And the difference between them and us is just as our theme song, Solidarity Forever, says, without our brain and muscle, not a single wheel would turn. Yeah. That's what's different about working class people. Whether we're building cars or trucks or running parts distribution centers, whether we're writing movies or performing TV shows, whether we're making coffee at Starbucks, whether it's nursing people back to health, whether it's educating students from preschool to college, we do the heavy lifting. We do the real work. Not the CEOs, not the 
crazy in the area. go back to the truck. 